Yo, what is up guys, Alvin Collins here to give you guys a Hunter x Hunter discussion, okay? It's not so much a discussion actually, I'm still going to call it a discussion, but it's not so much a discussion actually, rather than me addressing certain people's complaints about the Chimera Ant art. There are a few complaints I have heard, and a few of them make sense, and a few of them don't, okay? And I'm just going to go down the list here. One of them is the narration, all right? The narration for um, the Hunter x Hunter episodes, in my personal opinion, has been really, really good. Um, while I really don't agree with these people's complaints about the narration pissing them off, uh, people are complaining they don't get to hear the characters speak enough or something like that, stuff like that. I mean, I really don't agree, but I see where they're coming. In a way. Um, I guess it's it's the kind of thing that I would say is a, a love it or hate it kind of thing. Where a lot of people will appreciate the really good narration and the fact that you really don't get this kind of high quality narration in any other series. And some people obviously don't want it. Some people don't appreciate it. Um, I do appreciate it and I know a lot of people do appreciate it, but some people just never got used to the fact that in the episode um, and some of these Hunter x Hunter episodes, the narrator's been talking for the vast majority of the episodes. I mean, the narrator has gotten more, more voice time, so to speak, than the voice actors themselves. Which, to me, I really have no problem with, because it's good narration. And think of, if you think about it logically, in a situation like this, the character's thoughts alone are not going to do it, as far as the explanation you need. Alright? And I will honestly say this, this arc would be nowhere near as good. Nowhere near as good without the narration. Nowhere near as good. Because you wouldn't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> if there were, if there wasn't um, all this narration going on. So I, I do think it's necessary. But that is one of the complaints. The other complaint which I really, really do understand is the really, really slow pace of the episode. Um, at first, we were having episodes, um, I'm pretty sure everybody remembers this episode. This is probably one of the best episodes of Amy I've seen in a really long time. I think it was 112. I'm not sure. It was the one where we got uh, Chairman Nebula's flashback. Or when he was training his bunch of stuff. That, that was an absolutely amazing episode. But that episode, all the action in that episode took place within a fraction of a second. Um, most of the episode um, was Netero punching or men bitch slapping Pito, like across the world, whatever the hell you want to call that. That was the vast majority of that episode. Um, and from then on, um, Hunter x Hunter has been moving at a very, very slow pace. And I mean slow. I mean slow as hell. I mean whole episodes would, would be... I mean, no, nothing would happen. Like, barely anything would happen in the whole episode. Maybe a little bit of walking. Uh, maybe one person reaches from point A to point B. But the episodes, since that episode, pretty much, have been very, very slow paced. Is that a... Um, people, people are confusing uh, things here. I, I really wouldn't confuse slow pace with bad pace. The episodes have been slow paced. No one can deny that. The episodes have been really, really slow paced. But are they badly paced? Hells no. Um, as of now when I'm making this video, I believe the latest episode that came out is 115. I'm pretty sure that's the one I watched. Uh, it's Tuesday right now. So Tuesday morning, the one I watched 115. Um, the episode that revolved around Meleron, if you don't know who that is, it's the chameleon dude that holds his breath, perfect plan. Um, and Wolfen, the wolf guy that's suspicious of everything. That's the episode I just watched. Now, excluding that episode that I just watched, all the other ones have had good pacing. Slow pacing, but good pacing. All you need to make pacing good, in my opinion, is you need something to, something decisive to happen in the episode. So you need story progression, no matter how little it is. You need some story, prog some story progression, and you need exciting, fun material, which we have had. In my opinion, 
this episode I just watched that revolved around Wolfen, we found out his power, that was an example of bad pacing. It was bad pacing. Um, mainly because of the fact that we did not have as much of the narrator in this episode, if you didn't notice. Rather than having the narrator speak, we had an internal dialogue within the head of Wolfen himself, which was pretty, pretty, I mean, the voice acting was good, of course, um, as always, it was on point, but the actual internal, like, dialogue, the, the stuff he was saying, was stuff that, first of all, really carried little to no weight, and second of all, I really didn't care. Uh, the, the, the thing I'm really not liking right now is how so much stuff is going on, like a lot of stuff is going on in the story, like a hell of a lot of stuff. Um, interesting stuff. But yet, what we had to focus on was Maleron and Wolfen, which are, in my, on, in my opinion, personally, the two, so like, two of the least interesting characters that are in the place right now. I want to learn about morale. I want to follow shoot i want to follow knuckle we had a little bit of knuckle and shoot and ub but not too much um i want to follow uh i already said morel no it's mia missing in action natero oh natero and the king pito and gone killua those are the people like we had like five seconds of gone at the end which was absolutely amazing like the five the five seconds at the end of that episode were better probably than the whole first part um, but of course I'm just talking about that episode. That episode singular. All the other episodes have been on point. But as far as the pacing goes, the pacing is usually amazing. It was just that one episode I thought slipped a little bit. So I'm really not getting people complaining about the pace. I guess if you personally don't like slow pace, there you go. But in my personal opinion, the pacing for Hunter x Hunter um, in general has been amazing. Although, albeit pretty slow. Anyways, that's a few of people's um, complaints about Hunter x Hunter. Again, I kind of see where they're coming from, but I don't necessarily agree with everyone's opinions on the um, on their problems they're having with the series. I think it's amazing right now, and if you haven't watched it, which you shouldn't have watched this video if you haven't watched it, but if you haven't picked up Hunter x Hunter, you should definitely pick it up as soon as possible. Anyways, peace out. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.